geometric nonlinearity, and uh, this may be related to the following phrases like large strain large rotation and large deformation. So we are not talk talking uh, talking in details about everything about. I'm just giving you some highlights uh, for, uh, for self-improvement in terms of nonlinear study because this is very important. Uh, and geometric nonlinearity takes into account that the geometry cross-section may change as a result of large deformation. To compare with this with linear static, in the linear static the cross-section is considered to be constant all the time. So for the in geometric, in for the non-linear analysis, this shape can be changed. Large displacement may be also in, introduced, for example, by the geometrical buckling, which is the phenomena uh, very common, uh, very commonly. Uh, let's say appeared in the in, uh, in, uh, in the engineering, let's say. Geometrical nonlinearity affects um, as well the influence of acting loading. So in nonlinear analysis, which are considered large deformation, direction of the load is changing in function of the structural deformation. So we are talking about something which is called follower uh, force. Once again, geometrical nonlinearity affects influence of acting loading. So, once again, direction of the load is changing in function of the structural deformation. Uh, so, usually, when the geometric nonlinearity is considered, it means the large deformation, large rotation, and large strain are present. But this is important to know that large deformation and rotation don't always create the large strain. So, so please remember this 